lads, what more do you want, what, what, like, what do you want me to say? What, what, what honestly do you want me to say? Like, you know, it's happened every game. It's happened every game. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, full time at Goodison Park, Crystal Palace uh, lose 3-2 away at Everton. Um, we were turning up. I know we're not playing for nothing, but it doesn't matter. It's not the point. Turn up at half time. First half, I'm going to start on a positive for once. Um, goals from Jean Philippe Mateta, brilliant header, and then the goal from Jordan Ayo is very scrappy, but 2 0 up. 2 0 up against a relegation threatened side. They've been poor pretty much all season. Um, and it had to be Palace, didn't it? It had to be Palace. Um, I thought the team selection from Patrick Vieira was a bit confusing in the midfield. But yeah, anyway, guys, on to the rant bit. The second half. The second half, we were diabolical. Couldn't finish our chances. I'm not saying we should have scored every single shot. Good chance from Mateta twice. Um, both saved by Pickford. Pickford's a brilliant goalkeeper at the minute. Been on fire. Um, the defending was woeful. Set-piece goal again. The third goal from, who was it, Calvert-Lewin? Oh, I can't remember. I genuinely can't remember. Like, it's just, it's just so, it's just so, it's just so poor, honestly. And, you know, I've got my dad downstairs watching the game with me and he's like, oh, well, Palace haven't really got much to play for. Everton have, so it weighs itself out. I don't give a crap. You are players being paid tens of thousand pounds a week. I couldn't care less if you're playing a team that are losing on goal difference. I couldn't care less. You're 2 0 up. Finish the game off. Finish the game off. I. Oh, like, how many times have we thrown away points this season? Everton today, two points. Burnley twice, six points. Brighton twice, ten points. That's off the top of my head. Arsenal once, 12 points. We'd be in Europe. And I know it's football, you drop points. But this could have been our record finish and we've bottled it. We are the biggest bottle drops going in terms of record finish. Top half finish ain't going to happen. We're playing the Manchester United side that lost 4-0 two weeks ago. They've had two weeks to prepare. And we're going to have literally tomorrow and Saturday and that's it. And, and also, side rant, okay. All these bloody Palace fans that are saying that they want to go to the game just to watch Ronaldo fix your head. Fix your head. Because honestly, like... If you're not coming to support Palace and to hopefully see us win, then don't come. If you're coming to just see Ronaldo, then don't come. Go watch, just stream it. Just stream it. You'll get the same. You'll get the same experience streaming it. Like, yeah, just. I, I couldn't care less about Cristiano Ronaldo. If I'm honest, it's the first time I've seen him play. I couldn't care less. I could not care less. The game now is meaningless. We could. We could still get. I think we can still get top half if we beat Man United, but now we've got to rely on teams to lose again. How many times do we rely on teams? The way we've thrown the game away, Michael Keane's goal, brilliant finish, should never have got to that position. The goal from, who was it, Richarlison? Patrick Rio brings on Conor Gallagher and his goal deflected in. Um, I'm not saying it's Conor Gallagher's fault, it's unlucky, but... Oh. Honestly, it was written in the stars, people. Like, I, I'm not... It might I might seem like I'm angry. But today, we were okay for half of it. But a game of football is 90 minutes, not 45. Do you know what I mean? It, it was just a diabolical performance. It's the biggest throwaway I've seen this season. 2-0 up. Chance to go 10th. And we've bottled it. As we always do. Like, 12 points, we've, we've dropped, I think, 14. Newcastle at home, we've dropped points. That's 14 points. How many how many games are we going to drop before it gets solved? How many games are we going to fix? How many games are we going to fix being in front and losing? How many times? Like, it's happened so often now, it's boring. You know, at 2-2, two, two, I was thinking, oh, all right, it's another draw again. And then, not only do we concede an equaliser... We go and concede another and lose. I've not been that embarrassed since Brighton at home back in September. Because that was diabolical. That was diabolical. Throwing it away like that. You're being paid that much money per week. And you throw it away like that. I'm, I'm, I'm bloody raging. I actually no, take back what I said about me 
not being angry. I'm absolutely seething at that. As soon as the keen goal went in, I just knew Everton were going to Everton are now staying up. Everton are now mathematically safe. The relegation fight is between Burnley and Leeds. Fair play to Everton. You know they fought when they needed to. Palace, we didn't show any fight. No, nothing. As soon as we went two 0 up, we got the flip flops out. That's the only way that I could describe it. I'm not even bothered to put the bloody shirt on. Honestly, I, I, I'm not even bothered, people. It's the last review of the season, and what a way to end the review of the season. Honestly, it, it's just it's just so poor. Again, it, like, who is our best player? Eze or Zaha, if I'm honest. But I, I, second half, they were poor. Everyone was poor. Everyone fell apart in that second half. Like... We just we just throw away points left, right, and centre. That's Crystal Palace for you. If you if you're a Crystal Palace fan, you you will know that we throw away points once a month at least. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'm absolutely raging, honestly. Like this, this this game shattered the life out of me, honestly. Thanks for watching. Last video of the season on Sunday. Crystal Palace against Manchester United vlog. The game now is pointless, if I'm honest. I, I don't care anymore. I just don't care for it, really. I'll go there, have a pint, enjoy myself. But if I'm honest, people, like, Man United are fighting for Europa League. So they're probably going to get it. Because we're just bottle jobs. We are just bottle jobs. And uh, to be fair, give Raksaki a run out. Give Adaramolo a run out. Give him 90 minutes against quite a good team. Like, just, just give them 90 minutes. Honestly, people, so shocking. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe. I'm done.